YouTube, what is up guys? You are about to watch my 2020 skate part and this this was the hardest year of my skateboarding life ever and not just because it was 2020. Actually, I'll explain it afterwards, okay? It's a miracle this video exists. I had to use every single trick, basically, uh, that I filmed. So, enjoy this and I will I will give you the details afterwards. Okay, so I have some fake blood right here, and I'm gonna go fall right next to Brian Ames and scare him and make him think that I actually cut myself open. Mind if I sit behind you, Brian? Oh! Ow! What did you just do? I just slipped on that. That sounded awful. Holy crap! Get away from me. <laughs> dude, I'm bleeding all over the bank. Is that really blood? Just, yeah, from slipping on that, dude. Look at this. That's awful. Get away from me. Can I get it on you? No, get away from me. In fact. But I respect, I respect what you're doing. Yeah, thank you. I cut myself, Thomas. Yeah, please don't touch me. FYI, don't ever use fake blood ever. It stained me. Easily. Well, that like the whole week, I was just oh. waiting for my feet to get right there. Oh, that was picture perfect. Oh, you have three God. minutes and forty-six seconds left. There it was. Uh, I I actually when I started editing this video, I had a kind of a negative assumption to how it was going to turn out. I was like, man, I should probably use my flat ground stuff. And, and then when I put it together, I actually liked it a lot. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like about it is that I didn't have time to track down the actual footage of the, the little like blood prank skit and the, the vloggy music is in the background, but I was like, whatever. That being said, uh, it was a very difficult year and not just because it was 2020. That definitely had a big role to play in it. But as I started the year, I was really out of shape coming off of uh, being sick and having some injuries like with my foot and just on and off stuff. Nothing major. I was just, I went on two trips back before the world like shut down. I went to Texas and I went to Vegas. So there's like kinda some street clips in there. It wasn't good. I didn't do a lot at the beginning of the the, the year and my plan was just to like really skate and, and get better. And then the pandemic happened and I, I basically had about 25 minutes a day to do flat ground in my garage. Sometimes I made a ramp but it wasn't too exciting. So that kind of disconnected me from street skateboarding. Then when I I started coming back to the warehouse and filming here. I got some clips, but at the same time, my shoulders started hurting a lot. So I eventually took a break from that. And then before my shoulder surgery, which was in September, I decided to say screw it. And I started skating for like two weeks before my shoulder surgery. And then the rest of the year, there was nothing. 
It's a miracle this exists. In a perfect world, I would have been able to just skate in my skate park because of the pandemic and really practice and hone myself, but that didn't happen. And the whole year was just difficulty and challenge and injury and pain around every corner. Uh, that being said, I can't believe this exists. I'm so happy on how it turned out. I love skateboarding and this is absolutely, or that was, 2020 was the worst year for skateboarding for me. But if I have something that beautiful to show for it and just look back on, I, I just, I, it makes me so happy because the worst year in skateboarding is the best year of any other life I can imagine. Put that on a shirt if you want. I don't know, write it, get a Sharpie. Don't actually print it or do, I don't care. <laughs> Uh, I love skateboarding so much. Um, I, I want to thank my wonderful skateboarding family that we have that and I miss them so much. I, you know, I fortunately enough get to work with some genuinely awesome people here, but I have a huge skateboarding family out in California that I haven't seen across the pond over in Europe. Uh, just I, they're, they're everywhere and I miss you guys. Um, and assuming that the world slowly starts to heal itself beginning right now. Uh, I, I, I cannot wait to go out and have some more skate adventures. Um, and also, spoiler alert, I did say screw it and I started skating again. I am back. Tomorrow you'll get the whole video of me actually, my first session coming back and putting a board together. Uh, so that'll be fun. Um, I talked to a professional. I didn't, it's not just me, just cowboy Wild West style living, li living a risk. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. So, I'm back. It's just... I like to think it's only up from here. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you want skateboarding gear, I have an online skate shop. TheShredQuarters.com where you can get everything you need for skateboarding. But if you have a local shop, especially during these trying times, support them. Support skateboarding in your area. They can always carry our gear. I will say that to the day I stop saying that, which will be long day, until the day I have no voice. Uh, but if not, we're here for you. Um, that's it. Thank you guys for watching this. I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend and a great year. Cheers to skateboarding. Hey, I'm plugging this. These are the most comfortable masks in the world. And Bill and Ted is awesome. Watch the third movie. Be excellent to each other is something we all need to do every single day of our lives, even if it's not the worst year ever. Peace out. I got it. That was scary, though. That was much better. Your camera. Six. That was six I, don't that was, I don't know if that would have counted, though. What? What, what about no, that? No, I couldn't. That was perfect. I couldn't do yeah, that. that was <laughs>